Following Mexico's loss to the United States, Benito Juarez started La Reforma, which was a movement to get rid of Cadillo rule and create a liberal, progressive nation. Juarez was an Amerindian and led an army against conservatives. His victory allowed for the Constitution of 1857, which created a Bill of Rights to give the same rights to all and a strong unicameral legislature, which offset the power of the executive. Juarez also went after the Catholic Church, which supported the conservatives. Napoleon III of France sent troops to Mexico due to late payments on debt. However, Napoleon was looking for a new empire. In 1862 on Cinco de Mayo, Juarez's forces defeated a larger French force. However, Mexican conservative supporters supported the French and they took Mexico City. Pressure from the United States and Britain forced the French to leave, but a struggle continued on whether conservatives or liberals would dominate Mexico. Juarez died in 1872. Profiro Diaz took over in 1876. He was a social conservative and ignored the Bill of Rights. However, he was a reformer of the economy and ushered in foreign investments, especially from the U.S. Haciendas began to produce export crops, sugar, hemp, and cotton, for the United States and Europe. New railroads facilitated agricultural output. The elite and urban population benefited. However, the landless peasants worked on these haciendas for low pay. South America had a similar cultural history and economic advancement as in Mexico. The original Spanish offspring, or mestizos, held power. Many owned plantations that also were geared to export markets. Argentina was known for its beef, and with new refrigerated steamboats, it could be exported to Europe. Venezuela was more tropical and had sugarcane and bananas. Due to this new round of mechanized agriculture, Chile, Bolivia, and Peru exported guano, or bird droppings, for fertilizer. The Pacific Coast area is rich in anchovies, which feed millions of birds. High demand for this fertilizer led to a shortage. Chile and Peru attacked Bolivia, and they lost their province on the sea. Bolivia is now a landlocked country. Following independence, Brazil kept a constitutional monarch. In addition to continued sugarcane production, Brazil also became the largest coffee exporter in the world. It was also known for rubber for the new automobile industry. A major depression in the United States and Europe occurred in the mid-1880s, causing a decline of exports of all commodities. As the depression spread to Latin America, the Brazilian emperor was deposed and replaced by a liberal republic. In 1889, slavery was banned and last country to do so in the Western Hemisphere. These are the countries of Latin America, Spanish Latin America, as well as Brazil, which had been a Portuguese colony. Notice that Bolivia is a landlocked country. It lost that province from the sea to Chile.